You'll never believe the 10 things I saw my boss do in Excel. My boss was manually adding in these action numbers into Excel. So someone in the office told him that he could drag them down and that would save time. But a better way is to actually enter in the sequence formula and just dictate how many rows you want and hit return and that will automatically generate your number list. However, there's an even better way that if we count all of the rows that are in the action list, minus one for our header and then hit return and it will automatically assign a number against each action and when we add another action that will automatically add a sequential number and it will also ensure that the number sequence is correct if we delete one of the actions so my boss really liked the format of this chart and what i caught him doing was when he wanted to add in a new chart into his presentation he would select alt f1 but the new chart the format was not the same as the format that he wanted so then he had to manually go in and change the formatting every time he wanted to add in a new chart and that was taking five or six minutes each time so a better way to do that will be to select the chart with the format that he wanted copy it select the new chart that you want and then go to paste special and then select formats and then okay and then that would basically paste special the format of the new chart into any new chart that he wanted. So I caught my boss manually summing all of the north region sales and then dragging that formula across for each of the regions. So I took him aside and showed him a better way. If you select all of the data including the totals and then use the shortcut key alt and plus that will automatically generate all of your totals for your vertical and your horizontal headers. So my boss wanted to add in some extra products into this table. So we moved the total down and then added a product in the middle here. But when he added the extra sales, the sum formula wasn't picking up that extra product E. So what we need to do is define a dynamic range. So we just select any cell and then select the name manager and then new. Now what we want to do is we want to select the previous cell. So at the moment we have cell J7. We want to reference J6. So I'm going to name this range previous cell and it refers to this cell here. So which is the cell just before J7. So that's going to be equals J6. And then we're going to put an exclamation mark before the J so that it can refer to any tab within the workbook and then just hit OK and then close to that. Now, when we go into this sum formula here, instead of C9, which is the end of this range here, we're going to replace that with now our dynamic range, which is previous cell. Select that and hit return. And what it does is it changes the formula to be C6 to the previous cell of C15, which is C14. So we can enter in any extra numbers in here and that will automatically pick up in the formula here. And if we change the sum total again by control and X, paste it down further and then add in an extra sum here, it automatically resizes that range. So my boss had a list of customers who bought laptops and a list of customers who bought phones and he was manually scanning down each list to see where there were customers that had bought both a laptop and a phone. So he started on Stephen Flores and was effectively looking down this list manually till he saw that actually Stephen Flores had bought both a laptop and a phone. So I told him there was a way better way of doing that. So if you select both lists and then select control to make sure that you select both ranges, go up to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules and then go to duplicate values. You can select the different font that you need and you just hit OK and that will effectively show you where you've got customers on both lists that are duplicates. My boss wanted to create separate pivot tables for each of these order channels and put them into separate worksheets. So what he was doing was adding a separate sheet and then copying the pivot table into each of those sheets separately. But I told him there was a way better way of doing that. So all you need to do is select within the pivot table, then go to pivot table, analyze across to the left options, show report, filter pages, show all pages of order channel. Okay. 
and then effectively it sets up automatically a new pivot table for each of your order channels in the filter. I saw my boss manually trying to resize these charts to get them exactly the same size. So I told him a better way of doing that is to select the chart, then go to format. And here on the right, it gets you the height and the width. So if we select three and six and hit return and then do that for the same chart here on the right. So three and six, that can make sure that the charts are the same size and save him a hell of a lot of time. So my boss had these sales for each of the months and they were rounded to the nearest thousand. And what he wanted to do is to physically put the full amount to the nearest dollar. So what he was doing was he was multiplying each of these numbers by 1000, dragging it down and then copying that into the current location. But there's a way better way of doing that. So if we just put 1000 out to the side here, copy that, select the region that we want to get the correct values for, pay special, special, then we want to multiply and then hit OK. And that gives us the values that we need. My boss was manually typing out each of these usernames in the list. So I told him a better way to do that would be to use flash fill. So if we select with an example to the top of what we want to get out of the email address, then go to data and flash fill. Or you can use the shortcut, which is control and E and what Flashfall does is it effectively looks at the data that you have and picks out a pattern based on what you wanted to get out of that data. My boss wanted to filter on the product category for trainers so what he was doing he was selecting his data going into data filter and then selecting trainers by just dragging down to the bottom of the list but there was a better way of doing that if he simply just went in select trainers right mouse click, then go to filter, filter by selected cells value and select that and that will automatically select the category that he wants.